So hi and welcome back to Mitch Gosling TV. So a little bit of bicep curls today. Just going to give you a uh, quick breakdown. I've managed to get a chap in next to me. You can see his short range of movement compared to mine. Big mistake everyone makes. Make sure you do full range of movements. We are using the extreme um, orange today on the fat grips. So I'm going to take you through a little bicep workout I want you to try. So just going to do a barbell curl that we just started off on. Now we're going to go into an alternate dumbbell curl, seated up a first seated because it takes a lot of swing action away from my back as well. And as you can see, I'm tilting it up and I'm trying to lean and look into the dumbbell if I can. So it just gets my shoulders into a good position as well. Feet are firmly fixed to the floor. Towards the end, you'll get a little bit of cheating, but other than that, try and stay quite strict if you can. Then I'm going to go into a preacher on a bench. This is going to keep myself quite nice and upright. I'm not actually locking my arms out, so I've already done that movement on my bicep curls. So I don't want to cause too much tension through my elbow joint. So on this one, preacher curl, slightly shorter range of movement. I'm taking the hand close to the inside of the dumbbell as well, just so I can get that nice squeeze at the top. One of my favourites is this, especially when you're doing a high incline like so, you can actually find it really, really does protect the back as well because we all do it, we all have got to admit to do it. When the weights go a little bit too much, you do tendency to start swinging. And we all like to lift a little bit of weight sometimes. So I'm showing you with well-controlled manner on my weights today. And as I say, we are using the extreme. And just let you know, fat grips will be at body power as well. So I hope everyone's going to that. Unfortunately, I can't make it due to a lot of other uh, circumstances. But um, here's a incline laying back is one of my favorites we change the angle you can see I slightly turn my shoulders and rotate them out I'm squeezing up just be very careful the bicep tendon that runs through your shoulder because uh, this puts a lot of stress so a little bit of a break before I go out to the last one which we really try and turn the shoulders out hands out almost to the hands are facing the walls and this creates an enormous amount of stress and you really find that you do it this way you'll get a lot of dumb soreness in the arms. I'm just going to um, change the angle, give you a front on angle and I'm going to throw in a different exercise at the end as well. This time I'm doing them together. So I've gone very very light. I'm not going heavy on these so please understand that this is not about weight, this is just focusing on getting that pump. And I'm really feeling this in the muscle, okay so Nowhere else, not my elbows or anything. So I'm switching straight into a preacher. Not the best of angle. Make me look like I've been uh, dieting and very skinny. But hey ho, been having a bit of time off. Um, just going to be prepping myself for the end of the year. I've really fancied just uh, taking some time out. So I think it's very, very important for um, guys or girls that if you're getting into bodybuilding, you must take a bit of time out and you must chill out and take some of the pressure off because that is when you grow, especially when you're using the fat grips. So thanks again for tuning in to Mitch Rosin TV. Carry on subscribing, sharing and following. And uh, go pop down to Body Power and see fat grips.